Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US markets pushed higher on Friday, led by the big tech names as earnings numbers continue to surprise on the upside. The S&P 500 closed up 1.02%, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq led the charge, finishing 2.03% higher at the close. The Dow Jones closed 0.4% higher. The S&P and Nasdaq delivered their best week since November last year, with the S&P adding 2.7% for the week, and the Nasdaq adding 4.2% for the week. Turning to US sectors, the best performer was communications, which closed up 4.7% on the day. The worst performer was utilities, which closed down 1.12%. Markets rallied strongly on several strong results, with Alphabet jumping more than 10% on better than expected first quarter earnings. The company also authorized its first ever dividend and a $70 billion buyback. Microsoft added nearly 2% as the software maker posted strong fiscal third quarter results and showed an acceleration in cloud growth. The busy earnings season continues this week with results expected from technology giants Apple and Amazon. The Federal Reserve's next rate decision is due out on Wednesday. Turning to commodities, the World Bank predicts that energy and other commodity prices will no longer serve as a significant deflationary factors in the near future, hindering central banks' ability to de decrease the interest rates. Geopolitical tensions, tightening supplies and increasing demand for industrial metals and energy transition materials have halted the sharp decline in commodity prices observed over the previous two years, according to the bank's report. Global commodity prices, which plummeted by 40% between mid-2022 and mid-2023, contributed to a 2 percentage point decrease in global inflation during that period, but have since stabilised, marking the end of this deflationary trend. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% gain. Thank you for listening.